What's up, game hairs? It is smoked again. It's that time of year that I'm honestly... It's my favorite time of year. It's better than Christmas, is it not? But it is, what, two days before... Get yeah, two? Two? Yeah. Two days before League Start. And the last four days, maybe, I have been doing nothing but theory crafting this belt and what I planned on doing for the League Start. Um, when I got the news that this helmet was going to be a plus four Spectre helmet with Abyss jewels, you know, uh, socketed into that, we completely went pure Spectres. Uh, I, I run minion builds every league, as you know, and as you've probably seen from the last couple of builds I've done, uh, lastly we started with a zombie, falling zombie totems, and we made that work, cleared the Atlas, pretty much did all the content except for Ubers with it, because it didn't scale strength stacking the way I planned on doing, and then at that point it made more sense to invest into other builds <clears throat> that were going to work way better, obviously. So this league, I wanted to make this belt work. I've always been kind of skeptical of it, but never really attempted hard to make it work or done any thorough testing with the belt itself on a build, right? So with this idea, I had, with the obvious implementation of this helmet, it, it makes running Spectres worth it again, because as you see right now, I only have six, because as, as it sits, we'll get five. <coughs> we'll get four by default from the um, our typical setup, and then five if we use the chest, and then nine with the helmet. Eight if we don't use the chest, right? So with my whole way of doing this build and using this belt, I wanted to do it as an ascendant, and with that, I could take advantage of the flask gain charges, three charges every three seconds, as well as the necromancer node. And then we'll Forbidden Flame and Flesh Champion when we, when we get to that, when the money allows it, right? But what this allows us to do is to have full flask uptime with our belt pretty much the whole entire time. Anytime our minions are hitting anything, they're pretty much recouping flasks. And with that, it basically makes this build, I mean, the belt itself, if I could, oh, I'll show you uh, plugged in and out of POB here in a minute, but numbers in and out of this belt are, I mean, it's basically all of the damage as it sits with the gear right now. Like, all this gear is entry level. This is a Jinx Juju. A couple of bone rings that I crafted when I hit maps. Um, Grip of the Council, which will be cheap. A Theoretically, you'd want a plus two uh, Ray Spectre gym here, but that might be hard to get. Might not be hard to get with a new lead mechanic, but you would want two here so you could get the um, to 25 Ray Spectre without um maybe needing to get the ashes at the beginning because of course ashes is going to be something that won't it won't be expensive but it won't be like everybody will have it you know for league start so i wanted to make it you know all this gear stuff that is extremely accessible right like a diamond flask an onslaught flask overflowing chalice instead of bottle faith this would be our end game uh flask setup uh right here right here until we figure out something to replace the series, but I'm not thinking that's going to happen because we had Orion Sand in, and you, can, you guys can thank me for testing this, but for some odd reason, when our minions use this flask, it does not apply to them. It does say when I kill, so that does make sense, and I do get it. I mean, do I have to run Grapevines? I don't know to get that to work. It's not worth it at that point. So we drop this flask. That saves a lot of money. Um, the good thing is, is that I thought that we were having the we had the clear that we had due to this flask, and I thought it was working this whole time. It turns out it didn't work at all, and all of our clear is due to shatter and chill, and the popping of that. So that's huge news. Uh, as you can see, all this gears, uh, pretty, you know, like you'd have it right when you got to maps. Pretty much, you'd probably have a, you know five to ten C to buy your scepter. Uh, you'll probably already have a chest that you might want to. You know, you might get a six link to craft on, but all this stuff is extremely accessible, like right as you. I mean, even before. I mean, no, right as you get into maps, because you're not going to be wanting to buy things before. You might want to get this before maps, just because it might be easy and cheap. But outside of that, you know, it's extremely accessible. Um, I'll do a couple of Conqueror maps to kind of run through how easy it looks, how easy it is. How fun the playstyle is to me. Keeping the flask up isn't hard at all with this substitute before you get bottled faith. 
like you honestly might be able to even go necro with it i wouldn't just because having this sustain and the 25 percent chance for flask not to consume charges just make sure that you never have flask downtime and as long as you don't have downtime they're always just one-shotting everything because all of their damage is coming from the flask so as you can see the tree is easy as you know typical uh, what you'd see out of an Ascendant minion build, you're, tro you're uh, coming around to Spiritual Command so we can um, shield charge a little faster, sacrifice for now, we might not even need it, uh, Righteous Army for now, we might not even need it, um, you know, our damage is insane for, in my opinion, what this tree looks like, uh, no Cluster Jewels, um, you know, nothing in that regard, it's literally, we're just getting carried by our belt, this build should actually just be called a uh, Mage blood Kevin minions because it's respite. basically just a mage blood for them, and you just run around watching them, you know, giving them hatred basically. Because we're running hatred on generosity, we're running precision on generosity, so neither of these affect us, but they affect our minions way more, which is also obviously all we care about in this uh, regard. We're running determination to stay alive, clarity for our region that we don't have right now, and vitality is our only way of staying alive right now so as you can see it's not amazing our life regen is only 700 or a flask 860 uh when you're on bottled faith it's a little better nope still 863 or is that from the same consecrated ground yeah the consecrated ground is just bigger so uh, when we have when we're into maps and when we have some of the buffs up our regions closer to a thousand it should be closer to 1500 to 2k <clears throat> when you start getting region gear and you start, you know, actually gearing towards that, because you got to think our life region is our only form of sustain. And I've also considered taking this build into energy shield. This is ES. This is ES. This can be ES. The replica uh, covenant would be ES. Uh, these can be uh, because they're just Spectre boots. Uh, this would be an Aegis. And if we ran a Aegis Aurora with all es and did it armor that would be a, a way of kind of keeping some sustain if we ended up being too squishy going this route which i don't think we're gonna be but you never know how that goes so uh yeah i'm just gonna do a couple of maps and kind of show off how it looks and then we'll go from there And do this is <coughs> with no movement speed on your boots, <coughs> which I would not suggest. Not fun. Place to be Victorious, your heart's desire. The Atlas provides your addiction. Three specters short. Veritani kill. Six link, no movement speed. Not even level 25. Ray specter. <clears throat> Two short here. Entry level gear. Outside of the Taz teaching, which will be depending on. <clears throat> circumstances how you know expensive it is but gear set up here you know flash set up cheap everything else affordable we'll be able to kill your you know your conch bosses it, you know get through the atlas etc and that's with three spectres short of what you will have once you get your helmet it's gonna be ridiculous would suggest Nothing more to give. 
This is the key to a crucible that stretches the sanity of the mind. Um, okay. 